Welcome to RSPB Titchwell Marsh. Titchwell is about five miles from Hunstanton and it covers an area of 420 acres. There are reed beds, salt marshes, a freshwater lagoon and a sandy beach. I followed the purple path on the left of the map, visited three hides and went on to the beach. All in all, after my day here, I walked about four miles. It really doesn't seem as though I'd walk that far. You can sit in the bird hides, there's benches along the route. You know, it's very easy, very lovely. Anyway, this is the first hide I'm going into. So come along and join me and we'll see what we can see. Just walking over the bridge to get to Island Hyde, the hide I just showed you. I'm actually out with some bird watching friends today. But we all know that I don't know what all the birds, ducks, geese are. We've established that long ago. But I can't keep saying, well, what's that then? What's this? What's, you know, what's that one over there? Can you see that one? What is it? <laughs> so don't tell them, but I've actually used a bird app to try and tell me or to tell me what all the different birds are. So if I've got any of them wrong, it's the app's fault. <laughs> Let's have a look. Seems if you want to get in the water, you just break the ice with your beak and that's how you get in. Just like that. I think they get dizzy going round and round in circles, but they don't. But there's obviously something there because the girls have joined them and they're waiting patiently to see what it is that the shovelers are all getting. Far on the opposite side, they're burning the reeds that they've cleared away to make space and room for this coming year's new growth. That's what I, that's my words. I don't know that that is generally what is going on, but that's Lisa's version. like if you keep going round and round in circles you clearly wear yourself out and you need to have sleep. I love the noise that these Brent geese make. I first encountered these when I stayed at Wells on the Albatross boat in the harbour and in the morning at breakfast I was greeted by I don't know about a dozen Brent geese and the noise once you've heard the noise that they make you never get it. It's wonderful. It shows how cold it is today because the water is frozen here. Over there is another bird hide. I'll take you over there in a little while. I love the amazing reflections from the sky, the clouds, onto the frozen water. It's like a mirror image, isn't it? Oops, just to show you that there is ice, somebody's slipping and sliding here. <laughs> Easier to fly. So I've made it almost to the other hide, but I just thought I'd show you where I was in. The two gentlemen walking around the outside are going to be renovating that hide so they were in there taking measurements and things like that. I 
I'm filming this through the glass of the bird hide, so that's why it looks a bit strange, a bit distorted. I forgot to show you inside the first bird hide I went into, but this is the concrete one that I'm now in. An amazing view. It's a lovely bird hide. Now this bird suddenly spotted all of us in the hide. As you'll see in a minute, he then decides to hide from us. And then eventually decides it's okay to make a mad dash for it. And run away from us. Look at him hiding. He's clearly spotted us. I think it's this sort of thing that just makes me love the wildlife more really. So I've now left the hide as the rain has stopped and the sun has come out and I'm making my way slowly towards the beach. It takes me quite a while though because I keep seeing various birds so I just have to stop and film. If you look carefully, you can just about make out the rainbow out to sea. I finally made it down to the dunes, so I'm just making my way onto the beach. Little did I realise before I get there just how bitterly cold it was going to be. I'm so glad I was wrapped up well and prepared for the wind and the sand blowing at me. And then it rained again and then the sun came out and made everything okay. Word had got out that there was a purple sandpiper on the beach so people were trying desperately hard to find that but you may recall when I was last out with the bird watching people that we went to Sheringham and saw the waxwing and then went to the beach and saw the purple sandpiper so yes <laughs> If you enjoy this sort of location um, and you're in Norfolk, definitely pay it a visit. Or further down the road at Cly as well, I've been there. 
you know they're great places this one is run by as i said at the very beginning the rspb and they are doing a fantastic job here for the wildlife Just look at this pretty view in front of me. I found one of the benches and I'm having a little sit down. But how pretty is this? What a great way to spend a winter's day. It's heading back along the path and suddenly this rock of birds just landed and I don't know what it is they've found but it's obviously very tasty so we just got to wait a minute for them to finish doing what they're doing and then then we can walk past water rail are not a bird i see very often so to find two here having a route around in the leaves and the debris i think perhaps it was a little ditch that the water's drained out of but there's definitely insects or something in there they're having a wonderful time. You think it'd be really difficult for the squirrel to get the peanuts out of that feeder, but he certainly mastered it. So we've left Titchwell Marsh now and we've moved on to Brancaster Harbour. We actually stopped here on our way when it was low tide and now we're here again with the dark grey clouds and the water is come in, it's high tide. And so really I should have shown you low tide first but you know me. And that was filmed through the windscreen so that's why it looked dark. And now Burnham Overy stayed looking spectacular. I called in here when I stayed at Kings Lynn, I called in here on the way back and it was pouring with rain so it didn't stop on that occasion so it's nice to be able to stop today and have a good look but it's so so cold nobody wants to be out of the cars very long So this is now when it was earlier in the morning, when it was low tide, look, there's no water at all. I suppose it doesn't matter which way I show you. The Brink geese are off. They've decided it's time to go for a fly around. And then they'll come back to the exact same place again, I'm sure. Funnily enough, look, they have now, if I didn't write Skylark on the screen for you, would you have known that's a Skylark? I would never have guessed that. I thought it was a turnstone. Shows what I know about birds, doesn't it? Well, I can honestly say I've had the most fantastic day and thrilled to be invited out again. So thank you to everybody for inviting me and making the day very informative us beginners it always helps to have other people with you that know isn't it anyway i hope you've enjoyed today's video thank you all so much for watching and do pay it a visit when you're next in norfolk it's wonderful take care of yourselves and i'll be back again soon bye for now